uh, congratulations on this. It was a fantastic view. I really enjoyed this. Uh, I guess, first of all, uh, give me a little background on how this came to be, because it's not your typical short. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your kind words, first of all, and for checking it out. Uh, Kate and I actually met about uh, eight years ago in an acting class, an acting studio in Los Angeles. And it happens to be a studio that really promotes um, and encourages actors to write their own material, to really understand what it is to be behind the camera as well. Um, and so for me, after several years of kind of um, <laughs> ignoring that and being stubborn and just wanting to act, I started writing um, and directing and, and found great empowerment in that. And then Kate was on set for my last film before Oh Baby. And um, I, I don't know, it seemed like she had a wonderful time and um, came to me and was like, I want to do something now. And I was like, yes, you do. So let me know what that is. I, I will support 100%. And, and that's kind of when we started writing together. If you want to add anything, Kate, that's kind of the basic trajectory of our... That's how... That's how the impetus for the film yes that is that was it that's it i mean your question was was sort of did you want us to go into um the theme of it yeah uh yeah a little bit of the theme because i, I don't think i've ever seen anything quite like it i think really? that that reveal in the middle is quite shocking <laughs> so uh, get, uh, can you talk a little bit about that without giving it away too much yeah, yeah. Take, take that away yeah um so I, I really, I mean, I will say when we filmed this, I was pregnant uh, and I wanted to, we wanted to write a, a, an original, um, endearing kind of, let's shake up the whole idea about what it means to be pregnant and a woman on film in today's uh, world. And so there were, there were a lot of things we wanted to accomplish. And we knew that we wanted to do that in 10 minutes. And so that's a really challenging thing. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, so you're right. So it's like hard to go into it all without, without the reveal reveal. But I do think the audience knows and, and your listeners will know that, that, um, that there is a, uh, there's a pregnant woman in the film and uh, you might not think there is at first, but then there is, well, it's, is that, is that, is that, uh, is that too much? Okay, it's hard to talk about without like, with talking about the themes and not kind of touching, touching on <laughs> what happens. Yeah, I, I mean, you, it, it does a great job of keeping that from the audience for the beginning half of it. And I know I was caught off guard when it happened. And K Kate, uh, you know, like, how do you get into, you know, that character and have to play this like it was it, it shot sequentially so you, you had you know you were able to go through it as it goes or was it shot out of order um we did shoot out of order we shot actually yeah we shot the second half of the film on the first day um and so uh, you know this character has a lot of me in her and so I had never played a, a pregnant per pregnant person, pregnant woman before. And I, I think playing some, a state of physicality while you are in that state is pretty cool and um, authentic. And, you know, you see a lot of baby bumps in on on screen today and you're like that woman's not pregnant her arms are way too skinny okay <laughs> no judgment here no body shaming any that's not what i'm getting for but but my point is i i really felt and looked pregnant mm -hmm. and i think that really helped me um cultivate a a, a real fun authentic nerve-wracked stressed out, um, uh, um, <laughs> curious and hungry character. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if I would have been able to deliver what I 
did if I, if I really wasn't pregnant at the time, I don't know. I'm sure not. That's not to say um, people can play pregnant when they're not pregnant, of course. And I've seen, we've all seen people do that wonderfully. Um, I keep saying people and I'm, and I, <laughs> I, I guess I'm just very like, I, I don't know what's like, I'm like thinking about junior with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he didn't, he played pregnant or no, no. Was it Danny DeVito? Anyway, um, my point being, I, I, this was a, such a special specific moment in a woman's life and in my life. And we wanted to, uh, we just wanted to explore what we can do with, with that, those kinds of, of things on film. Yeah, well, she's cute. She's quirky. Um, is this always a trajectory you, you saw for this character or were there different scenarios you guys played around with before getting to where it, it got in the in the final product we start when we started writing and brainstorming we definitely had the intention when i mean we started brainstorming before kate was um officially pregnant and uh when she was it was like okay it's going to center around this you're the lead of it we we started with that and we and we discussed other scenarios but i think you know, as writers and creators, we're just incredibly passionate, both of us, about uplifting women and telling stories that just aren't just aren't every day, like on our screens and and in the media, but that women experience every day. Right. Like just because a woman is pregnant doesn't mean that all these other things and parts of her as a human being aren't still very alive and well right um and we've seen you know a huge inspiration for this was and one of the only um one of the only scenes we could find i'm trying not to go into too much but um the yeah a huge inspiration was uh knocked up uh judd apatow's movie and i you know he's a huge influence in a lot of my comedy just um very slice of life in the day of a person going through something right um but in that particular film a lot of it is in his world she has to go into his world on his time which is fine they're like a new couple trying to figure that out but i i we wanted to explore kate and i wanted to explore like what's it like for a woman to really make the call like i need this you come into my space come do this with me, you know, um, uh, to show the empowerment in that, in that moment. So that was kind of our goal, which I think, I think we succeeded in. Very yeah. much so succeeded. Um, <laughs> and, you know, Dances with Films is amazing because uh, it's, at, you know, right in the heart of Hollywood, you're, you're in the TCL Chinese theater, such a famous landmark. What is it like for you guys to, to, you know, have the opportunity to see your film at such a landmark? Oh my gosh, it's it's beyond an honor. It's it's a it's a wild dream. It's you know it's gonna come true on Saturday, God willing. Um, um, Brooke has already gotten to see some other films there, and um, and some of our other mutual friends' films, and and I she just says it's it's inspiring it's incredible i mean i should let her speak for it because she's actually been there but i am so excited to to be there on saturday with this with this really special film that we're so just we're just so proud of really proud of yeah yeah we're so so excited and you know i think i can speak without not without being negative like it going to film festivals is always a toss-up whether or not you connect to certain films whether you know the the programming you never know and I can say without a doubt every block that I've been in every feature I've seen so far I, I'm blown away they're not effing around with programming at Dance of the Films like they're picking the best of the best and what an honor to be a part of such an esteemed festival and then I was of uh, one little thing I was on the phone with my mom a couple days ago and she was like it was 10 years ago she drove out to LA with me I moved out here with my mother not knowing a soul and we went we went out to the chinese theater and we got in this huge fight because she did not know how to focus my iphone to take a picture and i said mom i just want a picture we got you know she's my best friend but we got in this fight she's like oh almost 10 years to the day gosh wish i could be there to just get in an argument with you You know we were laughing about it um so you should bring cool. that picture. what you should bring that picture Oh yeah, I'm sure I can find it somewhere. Uh, anyway, full circle, very honored and a special, special place to be. Awesome. Well, congratulations on this film. It is incredible. And like you said, Dances with Film picks the best of the best. I think this year definitely has top quality um, picks. Uh, 
congratulations and I hope uh, you get everything you want on Saturday. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Would you like to share the show, social media for the film? Yeah, for sure. We're on Instagram at obabyfilm. Awesome. Well, once again, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Uh-